Hey everybody. In this video I'm going to show you just some of the household tools that everybody should have around their house. The tools that I'm going to show you are tools that you just need to hang pictures or put a nail in somewhere. Just basic tools around the house. Whatever you need to do little minor repairs around the house. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start the video and if you like this please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as to when I put out a new video. And while you're at it, go ahead and make a comment below. Thanks for watching. First off, for a homeowner, you can buy these ready-made tool kits that are already set up. They have just about everything you need. Screwdrivers that are changeable tip, a tape measure, a hammer. This did not come with it, but it has, uh, I put a box cutter in it and blade. Comes with a level, comes with multiple bits, just about anything you need. Comes with a small screwdriver set, diagonal cutters, needle nose pliers, crescent wrench, and four box end wrenches. A uh, half inch, seven sixteenths, three eighths, and five sixteenths. It also comes with metric and SAE hexagon wrenches for metric and SAE. For the most part, the tool kit, uh, it's missing a couple of items that I have out here that I think every household should have. For one thing, it's missing a regular pair of pliers. It's missing a saw to cut things with, a square to square things up. Every house should have painter's tape. You use it for all kinds of stuff. Another thing for hanging pictures, you need a good stud finder you know so that you can find studs when you're hanging pictures or whatever a lot of people are intimidated by hammers this is only an eight ounce hammer but if you hit your thumb with it it's gonna hurt you know so a lot of people choke the hammer up like this to make it more accurate i have found a little stubby hammer that is great for households or anybody that's afraid of swinging a hammer and hitting her thumb i mean, i've hit my thumb many a times i've busted it open uh, anyway uh my this is actually for my wife the whole, all these tools are basically my wife's tools I bought for her. Her father was a carpenter, so she has the basic knowledge of how to use most any tool. Now, another thing that's essential is duct tape. You need duct tape around the house for everything. I mean, MacGyver, if, for those of you that are old enough, you know, used it to fix anything. And every house should have white, adhesive caulk. Caulk around your tub and stuff like that comes out occasionally or gets dirty. So you want to take a razor and cut it out. Another thing that you would need is a drill with a good charger. This is just a Ryobi, uh, but my wife loves it. It's small, compact, light, easy to use. And uh, this is a drill rather than an impact gun. It's not quite as powerful as an impact gun, but I have several bits. If she needs a longer bit or even longer than that, you know, she'll have it. Another thing is packing tape. Around the house, you're always folding boxes and stuff. So, you know, to have a tape dispenser that's full, you need that around the house. And what I've found is out here always gets torn up. So if you take when you're done with it and fold it to the back side and stick it there, it doesn't get all messed up. I ended up reshooting this uh, part of the video. I thought this was a pretty interesting tool that I have for my wife. Uh, it's a screwdriver, but actually it's a screwdriver and a nut driver all in one. Each bit has a Phillips and a flat, and this one here is a quarter inch drive. Now, what you do is pull this out and flip it over, and it's a smaller Phillips and a smaller flat, and it's a 3 16th drive. Then, you pull the whole th this whole thing out. This is a 7 16 drive. 
Then you pull this out. This is a three quarter inch drive, but you flip it over and you have a big Phillips and a bigger uh, flat. And then on this one, you have a 5 16 and it's all clearly marked on the edge what everything is. Then you flip this over and this has a 3 8 inch drive and a super big flat and Phillips. And you pull the whole thing out, and like I said, this is 9 16 I thought this was a very interesting screwdriver. That is one of the coolest tools I, I think I've got her. She uses it for all kinds of stuff around the house. And then the other is a box cutter. You know, this is a little bit different than the scraper that I have here. But uh, this, you just push it all the way forward, push the yellow button, and you could flip the blade and then you retract it and you push this button and open it up and it's filled with blade so you always have a blade in it as long as you keep that full the other thing is a saw you can use this saw sometimes you might need a drywall saw around the house uh, this saw to cut little pieces of wood or, and stuff works really good uh, i picked this up for her I believe at Home Depot. I will put a link in the description below as to where you can buy all of these, including this little stubby hammer. In the beginning, I told you that I was going to show you some tools that I thought were really cool and also a uh, product. You know, one is a eraser sponge. It takes a really dirty uh sanding block it's an eraser for sandpaper and you just rub it on there you know see how that's and it cleans your uh, sandpaper off so it's really cool for stuff like that you can use it on a uh, any type this I have disc sander I have a drum sander in there you can use it on your uh, palm sanders on anything to clean out the sandpaper and that way it'll prolong the use of it and also what I found is and my wife really loves this is you could take an old file you know that she's getting ready to throw away because it looks so nasty and then you just take and rub this on it I'll do half of it here It's this quick too. That's half of it. And then you just take and erase the other half. And then she has a brand new file. I mean, she'll love that. You know, it's just a little something you can do for your wife. And then the last thing I have is made by works. It's a screw gun. It's not a real powerful gun, but uh, when you just need to drive a little screw and it's got a interchangeable barrel on it. You know, each one of these slots holds a different bit and they're all standard size bits. Uh, it's, they come standard with two Phillips, two flat, and two square drive. You could put hex drive in there, star drive, uh, whatever bit you want, and then just load it in place. And what I've seen online is most people pull it back and turn it. It, it comes with a charger. And the coolest thing about this is look at the bit. It changed to a smaller Phillips. Now it changed to a flat, to a square drive, to a flat again.
and back to the Phillips. The other cool thing about this is it has a bit holder. Pull this back, it's all your bit, and it holds your bit in place for uh, drilling in. And then the same thing when you pull it out. It holds your screw. And this comes off. All that you do is pull this little piece back and slide it off. Then you just have your screw gun again. This just slides on, as I said, and locks in place. Then you put your screw on and it'll take any of them out. It's like I said, it's not real powerful, but you saw I drove an inch and a half screw in here. I hope you like this video. My wife asked me originally, she started asking me to do stuff years ago and she finally bought me this shirt, uh, but it fits me pretty good. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that it fits to the T. She'll ask you to do something and you say, all right, I'll do it. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's six months, a year later, and she's asking you again. You still haven't done it. So I ended up buying her a tool kit uh, quite a few years ago and a couple of tools so that she could do little stuff by herself without going into my shop and f trying to find tools. So, like I said, all these tools I showed you today were bought for her. If you like this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as to when I put out new videos. And if you will, please make a comment below. Thanks for watching.